multiplication property is of exponents. There's three properties that we're going to explore in this lesson. There's the product of powers property, there's the power of a power property, and there's also a power of a product property. And, and first I'm going to tell you the definition of the first one, then we'll show an example, and, and we'll do the same for the other two. So the first one, product of a powers property, that one is to multiply powers having the same base, you add the exponents. So for an example, if you have a squared times a cubed, the, the product of powers property tells you that all you have to do is add, add the exponents. You add the exponents if if both terms have the same base. If both terms have the same the same base. Okay, now the base, if you remember, is it would be the a in this case. A would be the base, and then the exponent would be the two, and in the second term, a would be the base, and the exponent would be a three. So what, what the product of powers property tells you is that all you have to do to find the answer is add the exponents if both terms have the same base. Okay, and then you'll keep the same base for your answer. So our answer will be a, and when you add the exponents, it's just going to be 2 plus 3, which is 5. Now to show you why this works, it's let's just expand each of the exponents. So you have a squared times a cubed. And what that equals, and, and what's going on here, remember the exponent tells you to multiply the base by itself that many times. So a squared tells you to multiply a, the base, by itself. And you'll have a times a. So it, it tells you to multiply the base times, times itself twice. So you have a times a. Now I said you multiply it twice, but it's really, um, you're just multiplying by itself once, but you have two of them, which is why there's a two. So a squared becomes a times a, and then we're multiplying times a cubed. Well, a cubed is just a times a times a. So you have a squared, which is right here. That's a squared. And then you have a cubed, a cubed. And you're multiplying those together. So the easiest way to do it is just to count them up. One, two. So you have one, two, three, four, and five of them. So you have five a's multiplied by, by each other. And that's going to be our exponent is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you have a times, times itself, and you have five of them. Okay, so that's, that's why the product of pow powers property works. Um, when you have the same base and you have two, two products with the same base multiplied by each other, or two powers, then you can just add the exponents. Now, the next property, power of a power property. Well, what that means is to find the power of a, of a power, you multiply the exponents. So you're, we're going to multiply, multiply the exponents to find our answer. Okay, multiply the exponents. And, and what this looks like is if you were to have a to a number, let's say 2, a squared, and we want, to, we want to raise that whole thing to the fourth power. To find our answer, all we have to do is multiply the two exponents. So 2 times 4 would be 8. So a to the 8th power. 
And, and let's see why, why this works, why this gives us the answer. So a squared, and you raise that whole thing to the fourth power, is going to give you a to the eighth. And why, why this works is, well, let's look at it. Let's, let's think of whatever's in the parentheses as just one, one thing, one term. Um, so we're going to think of a squared as just one term here. And, and when we raise that term to the fourth power, we're, the four is telling us to multiply whatever's inside those parentheses by itself four times. So we say a squared times a squared times a squared times a squared. So we have four of them. So a squared to the fourth power really just means a squared times a squared times a squared times a squared. And if we expand each of those, well, each a squared is just going to be a times a. So we have a times a. And then we have another one, a times a. Then we have another one, a times a. And a fourth one, a times a. So each one of these, each one of these pairs of a's is really an a squared. So we have a squared raised to the fourth power, which is the same thing as a squared times a squared times a squared times a squared. And that's the same thing when we expand it as a times 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 a. And if you count those up, there should be eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which there are. And that's going to be our answer when we count all those up. It's going to be a to the eighth power. So that's the power of a power property. And then the last property that we want to discuss is the power of a product property. Now, there's these can get a little confusing um, with all the power of a power, power of a power property, product of a power... Uh, all those P words can get confusing, but what a power of a product property looks like and how you find the answer is you find the power of each factor and multiply. So, so for an example, if you have, well, and let me write that out first. In order to find a power of a product, you first find find the power of each factor, find the power of each factor. Okay, once you find the power of each factor, then you multiply. So you find the power of each factor and multiply. Okay, and what that looks like is if we had a times b, so we have a, a product there, and we want to find the power of a product. So a times b, and let's raise it to the third power. So a times b to the third power, well, we can actually distribute that exponent into each term. So it's going to be a cubed times b cubed. Okay, so we find the power of each factor, and then we multiply. So a cubed times b cubed. And that's, that's our answer. And if you want to expand that, it's, it's going to look something like this. If you have a times b raised to the third power, so a times b cubed, well, remember the 3, the cubed, tells us to multiply whatever's inside the parentheses by itself three times. So we really have a times b times a times b times a times b. And then we can collect like terms, and you'll see that we have three a's. So it'll be a times a times a. And then you have three b's, so it'll be b times b times b. And that simplifies to a cubed times b cubed. So you'll see that it's easier if you just distribute the exponent into, the, into each factor of the product in the parentheses there. 
So A times B, and that whole thing's cubed, you can write your answer as A cubed times B cubed. And, and these properties will help us throughout, throughout this section. Um, we'll, we'll go over some more examples in the next lesson, um, but I just wanted to introduce these three properties.